Hello, this is Jason at Geyser Wood Turner. I'm really glad that you could come visit me in my shop today. Today I want to do something a little bit different and talk about shop tips. In this video, we're going to talk about things that are a must have in your wood turning shop. Shop item number one, magnets. Magnets are so useful and they come in so many different types and sizes. Let me show you how I use some of the magnets in my shop. I'm sure that many of you have heard about holding a chuck key to a drill press, but how do you use them in a wood turning shop? Raise your hand if you've ever done this before. You're changing out the jaws on your chuck and oops, there goes the screw into a bunch of shavings. Magnets are very useful for picking out metal objects out of wood shavings. In my shop I get a lot of these neodymium magnets or rare earth magnets and I stick them all over the lathe and they hold accessories well so they don't vibrate off the lathe. They also keep things within arm's reach such as Allen keys for my chuck I've also got some tightening bars for my collet chuck. And I always want to have calipers and dividers within reach. I also do a lot of accessories like screwdrivers and Allen wrenches that I need to tighten up Allen screws on the lathe. It also makes a great place for drill bits that you're going to use over and over again. Magnets can also be used for clasps on jewelry and boxes that you make. Behind me screwed to my tool rack is a magnetic bar that I got at Harbor Freight and I keep a lot of small tools that don't fit in my tool rack for easy access. And the number one thing to use magnets for in your shop, pretend that you got an ear piercing. Turning shop item number two, paste wax. If you thought this product could only be used on floors and furniture, you were wrong. It makes for a great slide and hold on your lathe bed. And it also gives you a measure of water protection. So let me show you how you apply paste wax to a lathe bed. So remove your accessories. And I have some products like Bowl Shield T9. And that's a great product, but it's expensive. And you can get a can of paste wax that'll last you nearly forever and is cheaper. So I'm going to brush off the lathe, remove any dust that I have on there, and a little vacuuming never hurts as well. Then I'm going to give it a good wipe down and you can wipe it down with alcohol or something like that. And pop open the lid. Grab a little of that wax out on a paper towel and then with a circular motion cover the entire lathe bed and just put a thin coating on there. Paste wax can also be used on things like your tool rest and your tools to help them slide across the tool rest easier. Okay, so we're going to let that dry, and while we're letting it dry, I'm going to coat the underside of the banjo and all parts that come in contact with the bed. Okay, and then also the parts that come in contact on the tailstock. After about 15 minutes or so, your paste box will be hard and it'll be milky looking. Uh, you're ready to remove that with a clean paper towel and just wipe off any of the excess that you can find on there. Turner shop item number three, wood turners duct tape. So just, yeah, tear off a piece and put that on there and 
yeah. Not really, so what I like to call wood turners duct tape is super glue or cyanol acrylate or a lot of others refer to it as CA glue and it's always helpful to have this in many different varieties and thicknesses in your shop and some of the good uses for that is you can fill cracks if you have some CA glue that is medium or thick you can use that to fill larger gaps it can be used to seal and stabilize punky wood or natural edges who can forget, it can also be used as an adhesive, and one of its best properties is that it's fast drying, especially when you use it with an accelerator. And with experience, I've found that it's best to buy an accelerator that matches the brand of your CA glue. My all-time favorite use for CA glue is as a finish. And that's something that you'll build multiple thin layers and wet sand and buff until you have a great shiny glossy finish just like on this pen really appreciate you being here today I hope that some of these tips can help you along your wood turning journey okay so if you didn't hate this video give it a like and please subscribe to my channel if you like more wood turning videos we'll see you next time